Hello, this is Lisa Ko from Five Star Real Estate and I'm excited to be here today with Ken and Sally Baker at Soaring Above Teen Center here in Ionia. Hello Ken. Hi. <laughs> How did this all get started? Uh, my wife and I, I grew up on the streets of Detroit and we saw kids living on the streets, hanging out on the streets and we wanted to do something different. We got an opportunity to open this building our goal was to reach 75 kids to get them off the street. Five years ago we thought that was a very lofty goal we now have 621 active members after five years of, of being here our goal is just to get them off the streets i couldn't read or write somebody taught me to do that because then i went on to graduate from U of M. we just want to give them the same opportunities when you say they're members how do they become a member they there's a membership form that has the rules they read the rules as long as they agree to follow the rules they're a member so they fill that out with the information their ages our ages are from 12 to 18 as long as they fit in that group um, they're a member. Uh -huh. We don't charge them anything. They just have to show up and follow the rules. How often can they come? We're open Monday through Friday from 2.30 to 6. They can come every day. Really? How nice. And then what do they do when they're here? We have kids that come in just for food. Every day we feed them at 3 o'clock. Unfortunately, some of the kids, this is the last place they're going to get food for the day. So we've got about 10 to 15 kids that come in here every single day for food. Um, we have kids that come in here to play shuffleboard, shoot pool, all kinds of different activities we have in here. Every day is different. Monday, we have a lady that's coming in to teach the kids to cook. So they're doing a cooking class on Mondays. Tuesday, we have Conversation Tuesdays, and that it consists of us talking about bullying or sexting or whatever it is that's going on in their lives. We talk about that, and that's the busiest day we have. Kids really want to talk about things. Um, Wednesdays, we do crafts. Thursdays is tournaments. We don't believe everybody gets a trophy for just showing up. So we have one prize for one winner. And sometimes it's a, a game I just make up on the spot so everybody gets a chance. We have kids that are really good in the pool. That's not fair for everybody else. We do different uh -huh. things. Friday, we take the kids over to the armory to play basketball and, and different things. They donate that time to us so we get the kids over there. So it's really something different every day. Yeah. You'll see about 10 to 15 kids Monday through Friday, the same kids. And then the rest of them are different every single day because they come in for different reasons. So they come in, eat, mm -hmm. and then do whatever is uh, scheduled for that day. Right. Do they get help with homework? We have homework rescue. We have a teacher that comes in and helps them with their homework. We have kids that were not doing well in school last year that hit the honor roll. So uh, we have ways of making sure it goes forward. Everything we do, we do for purpose. purpose. <laughs> if we are playing board games, we learn what the reading and math skills are. Uh -huh. So we learn how to help them. When we're playing Monopoly, we make them read the cards. We make them do the math. We've got kids that are playing the basics all the way up to the here and now. The here and now is done in millions of dollars, so they're working through their mind to get it. Um, math is really important to me because that's where my degree is. So uh -huh. We push for that, but reading is really important. Um, yes, yeah, so homework rescue is, is really important. We want to make sure they get more from the center than when they came in. If they're not mm -hmm. learning something, then we're just a place for them to play games, and we didn't want to do that. Uh -huh. The games are important. That's why they come in. But even when they're shooting pool, they're learning the basics of geometry. Uh -huh. So we're always teaching. Oh, nice. How are you funded? 75% of it is funded by my wife and I, but we have some great businesses and, and local people that are, that are paying 25% of it. We're about $4,800 a month is what we pay to keep this place open and, and we have some great supporters to make it happen. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Thank you. This is a really important um, part of Ionia. We are blessed to be able to do this. We have so many kids that do not come from great families. And my wife and I have become surrogate parents to them. Mm -hmm. So this is their family. Uh, tomorrow we're having a Christmas party in here. We're gonna have over 50 kids that are just gonna have Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it's about that. Um, what is it that means so much to you about Ionia? Um, well, to uh, be honest with you, 30 years ago I walked out of Jackson State Prison. I couldn't read or write. Somebody invested in me. We're in a prison community. I wanna see these kids get the same opportunity that I had. If somebody wouldn't have invested in me, this place wouldn't be open. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have graduated with my degrees. It never would have happened if somebody wouldn't have said, you're better than what you think you are. Mm -hmm. So that made a difference in my life, and that's our goal, is to make sure every one of these kids that come through here know that they're worth more than what they think they are. And how long have you been in operation? We're coming up on our fifth year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's been that long, and then there's times it seems like it's been so much longer. Uh-huh. I bet you have people, kids come back. We do. We've been invited to weddings. We've been to graduations. Um, we have some kids of ours that have gone on into the Air Force and they talk to us all the time to let us know what's going on. It's hard to watch them go away because they really are part of our family. Mm -hmm. We lost our daughter seven years ago and these kids, not replacing our daughter, but they're definitely family to us. So we mm -hmm. lost one daughter, but now we have 625. 
Yes. Well, I highly commend you. This Thank is you. this is a wonderful, wonderful addition place for kids to come in Ionia. And I, I thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. So please remember Ken and Sally Baker of Soaring Above Teen Center. Um, stop in, um, help in any way you can. You can donate. Um, and we just appreciate it, appreciate having you here. Thank if you. you would like to be a part of our parkbench.com forward slash Ionia, please give us a call and Krista will be happy to set up an appointment with you.